guys what up today is saturday and i actually woke up to a snowstorm i kept hearing that it was gonna hey punk hey punk hi sorry guys you guys know i have punk now so <laughs> he's he wants to get some action on the camera i know i know okay thank you bud thank you bud okay so i'm gonna try to do this you gonna let me record yeah maybe okay so today it's snowing um which is not too bad because I have some design work to do. As you guys saw, um, I was on my computer earlier because I um, need to get some designs done for uh, my Instagram page. Um, if you guys didn't notice, uh, but uh, I designed all the content on my Instagram page um, from the holiday messaging, from like all the posts, like all that stuff is like designed by me, like it's planned by me. Um, my boyfriend actually does all the photography. Um, so I want to show you guys like, uh, the Instagram page just to give you an idea. Like it's not just me being behind this camera. It's a full, uh, production. And because me being a visual person, like I just didn't want to, it to just be me vlogging. Like if you want to see the full story too, you can also go to my Instagram page and see like the design aesthetics that I put together. Um, to get the full idea of an outfit or a sneaker. But yeah, when you guys get a chance, go to my Instagram page, um, you follow me, and you could definitely see the story. But I wanted to let you guys know that and also see the visuals of that. So I have to do some designs later on today and I also have to do some client work. Like I still need to work on Sean's uh, logo. Um, I've been procrastinating a lot and I can't even really blame the holiday. But um, I need to get on my A game because tomorrow is New Year's Eve and I need to get this stuff out of the way because 2018 is literally Monday uh, and I want to start with a fresh, fresh uh, start. So um, yeah, I got some design work to do today. I actually have to go to the post office too. Um, I'm glad that the snow is actually dying down now, which is pretty cool. So I can walk to the post office and not have to worry about anything. But yeah, oh, later on today, I also have a mural that I want to show you guys. And I was kind of bummed out of the snow earlier today because I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to see it. Because this mural is pretty dope. Like I have to show you guys at night because it's a neon light uh, mural. It's in South Philly near uh, Geno's. So hopefully the snow isn't going to mess up the shots, um, but I really want to show you guys these really cool mural in South Philly. Um, it's really dope. I want to show you guys. So hopefully at the end of the vlog, you guys will be able to see it. Um, if you don't, it'll be a later time in the vlog. More than likely, that's the goal, because this is the last vlog that I'll be doing for 2017. So I want to encompass like design, sneakers, fashion punk. Um, and also um, street art, because that's something uh, you guys know that I'm really, really interested in. And if there's a new mural out in Philly or wherever I am, I want to show you guys. But um, yeah, so that's later on today. But let's get into the best of 2017. So uh, I know everyone is going to say the Off-White collab is probably the best of 2017. But as much as I have been like fishing for this the shoe the the two shoes from the collection i can't i can't honestly say that uh that was the best for of 2017 for me no creatively visually I, yes the thinking behind the shoe loved it um but for me the best sneaker of 2017 is the nike vapor mac reason why i, I love the nike vapor mac because for me it's something new for nike like nike has been pushing out old silhouettes, revamping them, but the Vapor Max is definitely a new shoe. It's a new look, it's a new feel, um, and I think it's definitely gonna put, push Nike forward. Um, I know uh, people who are Adidas uh, lovers, they probably don't feel, feel that way, but I, I love the silhouette. I think it's a beautiful, very sexy shoe, very fashionable shoe, um, and it's very different. So f for me, the best, of 2017 sneaker I would say is the Vapor Max like in this per se this model the uh, the Air Max day uh, Nike ID uh, Vapor Max 
the best i don't i don't care what anybody has to say this neon sole here the woven um patterns in here like it, it silhouettes that idea of the classic uh air max one but in vapor max style like i love it and it either has like the peppered in uh gray if you guys can see the detail like this was i believe the third sneaker i reviewed i might be off um and I, I love these these were the best for me like probably someone else would say something different but for me these are the best beautiful shoe love the soles um yeah this is the best for me um but what i have on my feet today are vapor max definitely you guys know that because i showed you vapor max um these are the laceless vapor max se um these are were exclusive to uh the nike app i actually got like a notice maybe two weeks ago about uh like an exclusive release for the nike app and i saw these and i was like all the colorways like i think it came in red um like a uh, turquoise purple and this beautiful i call this like a cobalt cobalt blue like royal or whatever you want to call it but this blue is definitely pops for me um a lot of people uh don't care well actually i don't know i don't want to say some people like them some people don't um then um, i love these like there's something futuristic about the shoe not having a lace that i love um like i'm a fan sorry guys they're pushing snow outside right now yeah my bad um yeah for me these are dope like they're they're different um like they are vapor max like you see the silhouette of it like i love that um it has the the prime knit uh woven all around the shoe uh the color way uh like i say i call it royal blue but if you look at the stitching you see that there's different hues of blue within a stitching there's a little black in there. There's some turquoise in there, uh, navy, and also the shimmer Nike swoosh is definitely like another feature that I love about the shoe that even makes the shoe feel more futuristic because it has that metallic look to it. And also this really cool sole here. Like I can't wait tonight to go to... Um, the neon light mural because when we shoot these these are definitely going to glow like um yeah these are pretty cool very comfortable uh i got uh where i normally get an eight and a half with my vapor max punk you want to get down okay i know you want to get down you can get down like i usually get a half size because i love to wear socks you guys know that um sometimes my socks are thicker than normal so during the winter time so me doing a half size works for me. I can I can fit an eight, but I prefer an eight and a half so I give a little more room if I decide to wear a thicker sock. But overall comfort of this shoe, Vapor Max are very comfortable. It is um, you get a lot of flexibility. It's a very flexible shoe, but also as everybody knows, it's a noisy shoe, and it's because of the air bubbles, so the plastic of the the bubble. Um, I know that there's a 2.0 um, Vapor Max coming out in 2018. I'm actually not a fan of it. Um, it actually looks exactly like this. I'll show you guys a picture of it. But um, the it, it just looks like they shrunk all of the the components to the shoe. Like the the Nike logo is smaller. The the check is smaller. Like I I don't get it. Like it's it it just makes the shoe feel a lot blank like with a smaller check like I, like this for me is a graphic component like like it's filling up the negative space and it gives it balance so the new ones for me then they have like these weird panels that go around the shoe i'm not really feeling it um maybe if i see what it looks like on an actual foot i might change my opinion of it but i'm not really a fan of it and and i've i've been through this scenario before where i say that i'm not a fan of something but then when i see it on an actual foot my opinion changes that might happen but i'm a little skeptical about the 2.0 um but who, who knows uh, no i'm not a fan I, I don't know might change my mind but yeah um these are pretty comfortable um uh, i know you guys could you probably can check 
on uh, Nike.com. They might not have these colorways, but they do have a black pair that are really clean. Um, but um, these for me were a must grab because of the color and I felt like it's the best way to end 2017 with the sneaker that I love, the Vapor Mint. Definitely, this is the last vlog, like I told you guys, for uh, 2017. Um, moving forward to 2018, I want to be more consistent for you guys with content. And maybe less about sneakers and more about my process, more about me, projects that I'm working on. Um, working on developing my portfolio site that I've been procrastinating uh all year but like i definitely need to get my portfolio site up and done um i have projects that i'm working on like I, it's more about me showing you guys what i do outside of this whole sneaker world and my sneaker love uh so that's what i want to give you guys for 2018. yes i will be reviewing sneakers um, definitely, but that's not going to be in the forefront. It's more of, um, getting to know my process and design, um, more murals, just getting that, uh, out the door. But yeah, so 2018 is coming. I'm super ready. I'll see you guys next year. Hey, bud. Come here, bud. I love you too. I love you too. You get so happy when I get on the floor. Hi. Okay. 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 Hi, bud. <laughs>